have found that there is only one sane solution for the future of America, and that is a moral order with transparency. I'm willing to live my life without having sex, to be on camera 24-7, except for when I'm in the bathroom and shower, in order to make this thing work, and to have a moral committee that does the same thing, all with vows of poverty to make this happen. Point number one. Rich people, with few exceptions, historically have taken advantage of a very unfair system to become rich. This has led to catastrophic consequences in the world. I don't think that anyone would disagree with this. Point number two. If a rich person is mentally healthy, they will be determined to throw in their money with other rich people to make society fair and prosperous and to wipe out poverty with no eugenicist agenda. So why would they insist on unfair sexual control? Why would they prefer to buy mansions and yachts and a fleet of cars while people suffer? A mentally healthy person doesn't say no to the poor so they can feed their ego and buy all kinds of extravagant and luxurious uh, goods, luxury goods, goods and items, okay? While people suffer, women are raped, and immorality you know, runs the day, and it's a dog-eat-dog -dog culture with a vampire-dog emphasis. Point number three. People are too busy, distracted, confused, misdirected, coerced, and often drugged to vote in a way they otherwise would. Point number four. If this was a true democracy, if this is a true democracy, then people would vote for a declaration of a state of emergency and the redistribution of the richest wealth. This could raise somewhere around $50 trillion, maybe more, based on my calculations and estimates, that would be used immediately to end poverty and homelessness once and for all. Job programs, creating more grocery stores as people have more money to buy groceries, more jobs in general, expand the IT sector, more low-income housing, infrastructure jobs, you name it. $50 trillion injected, and the money will come back to a large degree, and certainly over time, in the form of tax revenue. While the millions of people, uh, one estimate I read was 60 million people on welfare. While these people get off welfare, for the most part, except for the extremely disabled or some, and they start paying taxes instead. More taxes than they ever paid before. And therefore that $50 trillion of trillions of dollars in tax revenue comes, comes back. And as it changes the culture to make a moral culture, there's, uh, there's more tax revenue every year than ever before. And this transforms America into a place where no one has to worry about food or shelter. It's guaranteed. Where the education system is made in a way that's fair so that people can effectively learn and effectively get a job. We figure out who needs to learn in what way. What kind of teacher do they need to have? We analyze their personalities. We analyze them and understand what job skills they have and what jobs they should go into. So every student has a backup plan if for nothing else that's solid. Okay, to be a mechanic, a carpenter, an engineer, whatever they can do, a salesperson, solid. And there's countless jobs waiting for them, job openings. This can happen. And if it doesn't happen, then you have rejected righteousness and justice. And so therefore, righteousness and justice must reject you. And that is far greater of a problem than you can possibly imagine. I urge you, America, especially the rich, to declare a state of emergency and a war on poverty and to help me come up with massive uh, groups and committees to make sure that this thing is done right and precisely with people who are of high moral value from their respective field of expertise. 